I would just like to say, I trust that you will live up to this great gift given to you by the Filipino people. You have already done so much to promote our country and our culture to Filipinos and foreign nationals alike. And we look forward to your future contributions as you champion the country that you call now your home. Dude, this is so dope. Entourage. We have a stunt we have a stunt double today. Grabs my stunt double, he's got the Congress bro. We're going to send it. Making our way to Senate, I am with my wonderful girlfriend Threen, my best buddy from Canada, Grams in the front, our awesome super rock star lawyer, Vic Doms, who was a friend before being a lawyer, and then Daddy Coombs in the back. Uh, <laughs> Daddy Coombs! Uh, basically, I went to Senate last April 18th and had a hearing, uh, and I'd like to show you a few clips of the hearing because it was really emotional and very inspiring, so here we go. How, how will you contribute to the Philippines? Number two, will you be staying here for the rest of your life? Will you be a, a senior citizen likewise? I would lo uh, love to. It's the greatest fear in life. That is, uh, that is uh, 30 years from now. You will be a, a more less. You'll be a Filipino senior citizen. Yes. You'll be availing of some uh, rights given by the Philippine government. So you would love that. And how can you contribute more? First and foremost, uh, I believe literally showing positive education about the country. I'm going to tell you a quick story. 2014, only a few months in to sharing about my life and everything around me here in the country, I got a message from a Filipina. She had been in the States for 16 years. She had married an American but had two kids. She sent me a message and she said, hey, Karas. I'm here in America. I've been here for 16 years. I now have two kids. They don't even know anything about their Filipino heritage, their Filipino bloodline. I had disconnected myself from the Philippines. But you know what, Karas? There's a photo of me in front of a mountain volcano. I came back home because of what you were showing me. I reconnected with my roots because of what you were talking about. And now I want to teach my kids, too, the language, what's in their bloodline. And saying that as well, like, Nakatiroko Mindanao, Nayun. I know I've only been here for 10 years, Diba. But seeing Mindanao from 2013 to now, and seeing the importance of showing everybody and dedicating myself to sharing positive education about that part of the world, I believe that in itself is a life journey that I'm happy to grow old doing, and I feel has importance. And what I'll say to that is, I also remember driving down the street in Laguna in 2014. I pulled over on my scooter. A lady selling babinka, I went to Billy Port Usa. She looked at me and said, oh, where are you from? I said, well, in a broken Tagalog. Taga Canada. Nakatira. Dito sa Mindanao. Kagin Her first response was, Usayef. How can something that's 97,500 square kilometers, 27 million people, 27 provinces, you know, that's the 19th largest island in the world, the bigger than Ireland, how can that be described as Abu Sarath? Somebody who is Filipino, let alone, and then imagine, even my parents, Jefferson, ate the first, Literally until three weeks before pandemic, my parents had never come to the Philippines. My parents were disappointed in me for being here doing what I was doing. I almost sacrificed my relationship with my parents because I believed there was positive purpose sharing about this part of the world. But you know what happened? My parents who really struggled with the thought of me being in the Philippines, because you know what they hear in Canada? Terrorism, natural disasters, negative political stuff. 
That's their education about the country. So my life here, what am I going to contribute? I'm going to do everything I can until I die. Here in the Philippines, if I don't get kicked out, to do everything I can to make a difference and fight back at that negative education that seems to be the majority, that isn't the majority here in the country. Mr. Chairman, yes. yeah, before you follow up that question, here's a gentleman who truly believes in our country. I didn't know this gentleman six months ago, personally. I knew of his blog because I followed him. I follow him in my official Facebook account. But he inspired me. That's one thing, that's what I loved about, when, in that little vlog that he posted about a, a, a quiet area in Mindanao, which used to be a, a no-go zone 10, 15 years ago, and he's there promoting and saying, it's safe to be here, it's beautiful. And you even said it was a magical moment, it was a life-changing moment to see the sunset in these rice paddies in the middle of Mindanao. As a Mindanaoan, it really struck me so hard that here's a man tal talagang in inaano niya a Pilipinas. Pinopromote niya Pilipinas. Hindi lang ang Pilipinas ang mahal kong Mindanao. Kaya, I want to, I sought him out when my wife said, I know him, you want to meet him? I want to meet him. I want to hug him. That was my first reaction because he was so positive in his promotion of our country, particularly in our area of Mindanao, which is so badly portrayed in movies. This is a recent movie I won't anymore mention, but other, other uh, uh, news outlets. But it's so beautiful. It is so peaceful. And we are so happy that we have somebody like Kyle here, Kulas, who is promoting not just our country, but all these off-the-beaten-track areas. And I think that is his biggest contribution. Again, I said, we, we've approved naturalization of sports individuals, you know, that sometimes we've regretted. Now, after they finish their stint tour of duty, they leave. Here's a gentleman who wants to live here, who wants to die here, obviously, who wants to have a life here, hopefully family and children. And I think there's no better way to reward him for all that he's done in the last 10 years than to give him citizenship. Mr. Chairman. I didn't know him from Adam six months ago, but I was inspired by him. And because of that, I wanted to meet him. That's how inspiring this gentleman is. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Senate President. Yes, uh, yeah, co author. I failed to mention uh, a while ago, Mr. Chairman, that uh, I filed the same bill last Congress. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't have enough time last Congress. Uh, for the citizenship of uh, Kulas. Uh, if you were wondering how I met him and how we became friends, it's uh, actually because of uh, Congressman uh, Len Alonte. She told me about him and I followed his uh, vlogs. I followed what he's been doing for quite some time, for more than a year now, I, 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 I suppose, Mr. Chairman. And what I have seen uh, in his blogs are being manifested right now, right before our very eyes. He is so inspiring, and he is probably the most inspiring uh, candidate for citizenship of this country, as far as I'm concerned. As I mentioned a while ago, Mr. Chairman, for 20 years, dalawang best lang ako nag-file ng citizenship. Isa ho dito si Kulas. At kaya kong sabihin ngayon na siya yung pinaka- Paborito kong final na, na citizenship, uh, Mr. Chairman. Only because I think napupukaw, and I will use that word, pukaw. It's a Tagalog word. I come from the, the province of Francisco Balagdas. Kami yung magaling magbalagdasan. Datapwat at uh, maraming uh, nakaririmarim na pananalita na minsan hindi kayang arukin ng ilang mga ordinaryong Pilipino. Ngunit gusto ko pong sabihin, ginong uh, chairman, na siguro maganda na pagka meron tayong bills na, na ipapasa for citizenship, dapat parte yung pagiging isang Pilipino na inspiring. Yung buhay ni Kulas, the way he talks, the way he presented himself, the way he... Ma ma mararamdaman nyo po, Mr. Chairman, eh, you can easily discern kung peke. You can easily discern kung show. You can easily discern if it's a gimmick. Kitang-kita po natin, daman-daman natin yung pagmamahal niya. 
hindi lamang sa ating bansa, kundi sa kultura natin, sa ugali natin, kung sino ba talaga tayo bilang isang Pilipino. Kaya I am proud to say, Mr. Chairman, just like our Senate President, I am also an author of this uh, particular measure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You are excited to think that you will grow old in the Philippines and that you will make everybody proud. Is that, is that still your answer now? 100%. I, I believe personally... You will be a senior citizen here? You will grow? Sure. Yes, I, you're my greatest fear. Always been if the country just kicked me out forever. I mean, it, 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 like literally my entire life and being wants to be here. I want to do positive things with all of you and be a part of this place and share about it and be a part of doing positive things in the world. So, I mean, I believe that decades from now, if I don't die, knock on wood, you know, that we'll be able to look back and, and hope that everybody here will be very proud. And I believe I can make that happen. I believe I'm making that happen and we'll continue to do that every day as long as I'm breathing. So, as moved by the Senate President and seconded by the Majority Leader, Senate Bills 1500 and 1509 granting Philippine citizenship to Kyle Douglas German is hereby approved and elevated to the plenary. Very overwhelming, yes. Uh, gonna struggle to vlog again a bit today. I'm just gonna. Vlogs. No way, yeah. thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're here in the plenary. It's 2 46 p.m. Plenary usually begins around 3. Uh, they're doing a third reading today for my naturalization in Senate, uh, meaning it will have gone through Congress and Senate and be finalized for signing by the president. So this is a very unique day. <sighs> Bring it on. <laughs> So they're doing the reference of business where they're doing bills on first reading and in a little bit, it's 3.42 p.m. right now, uh, they're going to be doing third reading of House Bill 7185, an act granting myself Filipino citizenship. So. And they just announced too there's a cavatenia in the chamber. <laughs> Mr. President, last but not the least, for our third reading today, I move to consider on third reading House Bill number 7185. This is your bill and my bill, Mr. President, granting Philippine citizenship to Kyle Douglas Jennerman. And I'd like to take note that the gentleman is here with us today, Mr. Kyle Jennerman, rather uh, of most commonly known by all of us as Kulas, together with his Kabitenya girl, beautiful Kabitenya girlfriend. So, with no objection, please proceed uh, with the roll call vote. House Bill Number 7185, an act granting Philippine citizenship to Kyle Douglas Jennerman. Yes, na yes. A unanimous vote with all members of the Senate present. 24 affirmative votes, zero negative votes, zero abstention. House Bill Number 7185 is approved on third reading. Congratulations to a brand new Filipino citizen. Mr. President, I would just like to uh, put and insert into the records my, uh, my uh, uh, deepest thanks and gratitude to our dear colleagues and put on record my uh, full support and uh, thanks to uh, Kakulas because he's an exceptional uh, human being who is now a Filipino, Mr. President. Yes. Uh, we congratulate him. At this juncture, Mr. President, I move that we recognize Senator Bato de la Rosa uh, for uh, his explanation. Of our distinguished colleague, Kababayan of Kulas, from the Dabo region, Senator Bato de la Rosa is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Mr. President, I voted yes to this measure with my whole heart, with nothing less but my whole heart. Because I wanted my vote to match how much Kyle Jennerman 
also known as Kulas, loves the Philippines. I wish to thank Kulas for some words in Bisaya, Mr. President. Kulas. Kulas. Paminaw ba? Paminaw. Oh. Salamat kaayo tungod nimo mas dagha na karon ang nalipay og manghambog nga sila bisayang dako o bisdak og sila Pinoy salamat kayo ha dagan salamat many of us have learned to love our country even more because of your example thank you for learning thank you for staying thank you mr president And if I may, my distinguished colleagues, if I may as well, just give a short statement. And I address this to Mr. Kyle Jennerman. I trust that you will live up to this great gift given to you by the Filipino people. You have already done so much to promote our country and our culture to Filipinos and foreign nationals alike. And we look forward to your future contributions as you champion the country that you call now your home. And maybe you can change the name of your blog from Becoming, to Filip Becoming Filipino to I Am a Filipino. Congratulations, my dear friend. Congratulations. So, Majority Leader, do you want to have a one-minute suspension so that we have a photo yes, with Yes, Mr. President. I, I was Filipino. about to suggest that, Mr. President, and uh, congratulate our uh, kababayan. Yes, session for a minute. For a minute. I'm actually just watching, uh, reviewing some of these clips. It's been a really unique, uh, really, really unique 10 years. Be beautiful, inspiring, motivating. Just, I just wanted to roll. Whew. Sorry, it's like, there's so many things that have happened over the past 10 years and so many people have crossed paths with and that have had such a big impact on my life. And the past two years too, and taking this new journey into becoming a Filipino citizen, um, there's just so many things I, I wanna talk to you about and reflect about and write about and I could, all the people along the way and I'm just, you're gonna have to give me time, please. And in the future, I hope to be able to share with you more because some of the stuff that people have been saying, just, it's really, I take it all to heart. It means so much. And I guess all I can say right now is, you know, should this get signed soon? And should I really become a Filipino? I'm going to do the best I can, you know, to be the best Filipino I can be. And for now, I just wanted to share with you guys some of the clips and in, in, in the hearings and, and in Senate. And I'm so grateful for my friends who are with me and everybody. Oh, my gosh. I can't even think back to 2013 right now. The amount of people I'd have to, you know, I want to personally just hug. And I'm so grateful for. And that includes everybody here, too, you know, in the online world. And many of you in the online world I've had the privilege to meet in the real world and, and interact with. So, um I, it's been very overwhelming as long as my buddy Graham was here. He just happened to be here. This wasn't planned. You know, his first time back in 10 years and this was happening. So my priority and focus has been on him for this two weeks. And you'll see in the next video, we had another day in Manila. So I'll talk more about this in the future. And I'll write a lot on, on my social media page on Facebook. And again, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mabuhay. And like I said, I'll do the best I can to be the best Filipino I can be should this push forward. So. Ingat and ping, how long? Take care, power on.